Another little tip that I use is uh, sometimes trying to not always just defer to the slicer, uh, which will give you various building support. Although nine times out of 10, it is the best case. I do find that sometimes it's good to take control of things yourself and anticipate where things are likely to fail. So I've got these little tiny inserts which fit um, inside the, the air quality sensor units and basically are sort of little shrouds or cones that go around the sensors to make sure that they've got the optimal um, air around them. If you take this one for example you can kind of see from the slight imperfections here, uh, this printed externally, that basically this is sitting on the build plate and it's really unlikely that it's just going to pop off and shift. So this was printed on glass while it's slightly slightly shiny. Um, what I realized is that if, if, if you get a failure halfway through something like this, then it's a huge problem. So if you imagine this little saucer, if you like, wasn't there, then actually what you're trying to do is build a, quite a large uh, item on something that is really, really small. So imagine that hole with just a, a mil and a half around it. It's almost certainly going to pop off the board with any imperfection or any little nozzle collision uh, whatsoever. So I've basically created this little top hat type thing around it and that means it gets anchored and then I just take a scalpel and just cut around it really easily because it's ever so thin. So I thought that's a useful uh, way that if you're having uh, problems with things detaching from the board or you just want to give it that extra resilience so that you can put a build plate with loads and loads of parts on it and not worry about whether one is going to um, have an unlucky uh, moment and come loose, I would really recommend doing that as it can save you a bit of time in the long run. So I hope that's useful. Bye.